Walking to the Kroger here in town, the community and students are getting this list that has items that they're looking to collect. From there, it's game on. The last 11 years, Grace College has, in a way, kicked off the season of giving. All it takes is doing your weekly grocery shopping. The goal of this program is to fill the shelves of our food banks. Oftentimes when we do this each year, they say our food shelves were empty, but the next day they're now full. Shoppers are asked to donate whatever they can from the list, from food to diapers. Everything will go to Heartline Pregnancy Center, the Salvation Army, and Combined Community Services. We know that those organizations are in the trenches serving our community, and we just want to come alongside them and empower them to continue doing what they do. Ken Locke says while the Salvation Army Food Pantry is in a good place now, this will help fill in the gaps. With this time of year, it really helps us to then have food in our pantry, so Thanksgiving and Christmas time and New Year's too, um, we really have a good supply of food in our pantry then as people are coming in for assistance. While the community has chipped in, after 9 p.m. is when the games begin. Grace College students grab their cards and compete to see who can collect the most. We hide ducks, we provide incentives or competitions where they can earn more money to spend here to be able to give more. On my freshman year I remember people waxing off eyebrows, waxing armpits, doing weird dances and just crazy things just to get more money. Um, I just like that we put aside all of our egos and stuff like that for a night um, and do what we can to raise as much money for the community. Senior Nick Hediger says he's won for his haul all four years. While he wants to hold on to that title, he knows it's about giving back. I don't get the benefit of being able to actually see the results of what's going to happen tonight, um, but I know that the money that we give is the Lord's money in the end and he'll use it for good use. It's just awesome to see young people getting involved and in making a difference in our community. After missing out on the sweep last year, their goal is to try to flood Kroger with even more students to carry on this tradition. In past years, they've been able to collect more than $23,000 worth of food and products. In Warsaw, DJ Manu, WSBT 22 News.